I'm Georgia Stanway. And I'm Sandy McKeever. And this, and this is first impression. <laughs> I didn't expect you to announce your name like that. Well, it's my name. How yeah, but I always say McIver. Yeah, it's because you're wrong. <laughs> That's right, though. <laughs> Who was your roommate? Anna Patton. Played at 20s with her, didn't you? Me and Pat, we were roommates in the World Cup actually last year. She won't like me saying this, but she's definitely the messy one. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've got Leah Williamson. We shared together at the World Cup and we just get on dead well. Yeah. We just both Muppets and I always give a stick because the very first camp that we came to for the World Cup, she forgot everything. Like literally just came with the boots <laughs> and I had to provide everything. So from that day, every time that we have camp, I'm like, make sure you bring everything this time. You go. Okay. Uh, under 20 World Cup. That was probably one of the best tournaments we'd been to as a group. Yeah, no. Like we wanted to win it. Yeah. But realistically, it's good because like the in the Euros the year before we well underperformed. Yeah. So like we were lucky to even get to the World Cup. Yeah. Obviously to come back with a bronze. Yeah. It was the best we've ever done. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and finally got a medal. Yeah. Right. What's next? Right, Mo Marley, <laughs> legend. Mo's like been a big part of probably our yeah. England like youth careers, definitely. I think Mo's definitely someone that once you've kind of transitioned out her age group, you realise how much of an impact she had. I think one of the best things that she ever said to me was when I first got called up for the seniors, she phoned me and she was like, I never want to see you again. Well, she was an unbelievable coach and I think she's definitely the reason why we progressed so well in the youth age groups and how Obviously, people are coming through them and, yeah. and breaking into the seniors. Getting the call up. Literally one of the best feelings ever. We just played Chelsea, we, we drew two all, and I was on my way home, just going back to the Lake District for the weekend. And he phoned me, I had me pick a mix on my knee because I'd just played, and my dad was driving, and he was like, oh, do you mind turning around on the motorway and coming to the She Belize? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> dad took the next junction, turned around, came back to Manchester, then got picked up and met up with the girls within like a matter of hours and I was like, it's literally go from like zero, zero to a hundred and it's crazy. Yeah. What about you? I mean I've had the opportunity to train with the squad a few times, but to have actually like been given my first call up, it's like there was like no better feeling, is there? It's like one of them where you build up for it so long, like you want it for so bad. Yeah. And then when it comes you don't even know what to do with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the step up. The pace intensity, like pretty much everything across the board is just so much higher. Like if you want to stay in this environment, you have to up your game. It's actually more chilled here. Yeah. As in like, you work on the pitch, you work in the meeting and then yeah. everything's less serious because you've kind of done the work to get here. But then as soon as you're in the meetings and that, that's when yeah. your head's like got to be on it. like the switch off is just as important as yeah. switching on. Euro 2021. I think the fact that it's here is crazy and obviously they've announced the stadiums that it's playing at and there's some in Manchester so hopefully we'll get big crowds there. <laughs> because we've got so much support in France and obviously now we're basically filling stadiums, there's no better time because two years hopefully we'll get even more fans and basically fill out every stadium. <laughs> uh, the future. What do you want to do in the future? Once I come back from America, hopefully play in England, obviously trying to get a regular call up into the squad and then looking ahead to obviously the Olympics next year and then the home Euros a year after that. So hopefully working towards that. Just keep going at City. The same at England, just try and get in, in the squad and, and trying to get more minutes here. And obviously playing for your country is nothing better is there. No. Olympics and Euros are in the sights but whatever happens will happen and we'll just enjoy the ride. <laughs> enjoy the ride.